And what happens is, when there's no constitutional accountability, our founding fathers would have absolutely predicted the weaponization that we've seen with these agencies, particularly justice and FBI. Because when you don't have constitutional accountability, human nature is such that they will abuse their power. And that's what's happened. Nobody has held them accountable. And, you know, look, when I was uh, uh, in, in Congress, I remember, you know, Hillary had the, the emails with the classified. And my view was, well, gee, you know, as a naval officer, if I would have taken classified to my apartment, I would have been court-martialed in a New York minute. And yet they seem to not care about that. And is there a different standard for a Democrat secretary of state versus a former Republican president? I think there needs to be one standard of justice in this country. Let's enforce it on everybody and make sure we all know the rules. You can't have one faction of society weaponizing the power of the state against factions that it doesn't like. And that's what we've seen. And here's the thing. There is obviously very high profile examples, but there's examples of ordinary people who may not get the same headlines. A pro-life uh, advocate may have 20 FBI agents storming their house at 6 o'clock. All right, Florida Governor DeSantis there, uh, you know, mentioning at least implicitly uh, the Trump indictment there, kind of juxtaposing it with what happened with Hillary Clinton uh, and her uh, classified document email scandal back during the 2016 campaign. So we were just kind of waiting to hear whether or not he would head on fully address the, the Trump indictment. And that's uh, about as good as it's going to get there. Of course, he's on the stump talking to fellow Republicans there in the state of North Carolina.